Welcome back to Only Talk Sports, and today we have the Panthers quarterback competition. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Now today we have the Panthers quarterback competition, and who is going to be the starting quarterback? Who is going to win the job? Now I personally already have the answer to that question, and I'm sure most of you do that are watching this video. You have a good feeling of who it's going to be, but there's still a quarterback competition, and let's find out. Now, I'm already going to say, I'm going to probably have to say, I, I'm eliminating Matt Corral. He's a rookie quarterback. He he just, he's not starting. You know what I'm saying? He's got guys ahead of him that have way more experience. He's not going to start, no matter. He, he, he was really good at Ole Miss in college, and I think he's going to be a really good quarterback in the future, but it's not going to be his year this year. Now, Philip Walker, he's he was the backup, technically third string last year because you had Sam Darnold and Cam Newton last year, and you had Philip Walker at third string who had to play because Darnold was struggling, and he was hurt some, and Cam Newton, you know, they brought him in but wasn't really doing the job either. And Philip Walker, he, he in his two seasons with Carolina, has only thrown two touchdowns and eight picks. Now, that's not very good. I mean – Obviously, I, I think he has potential maybe sometime to be a better quarterback, but I don't think he's going to start this year either. Now, the two that everybody already knows who are going to be battling for the job is Baker Mayfield and Sam Darnold. Now, let's start with Sam Darnold. In his four seasons in the NFL, he has thrown 17 touchdowns and 15 interceptions, 19 touchdowns and 13 interceptions, and 9 touchdowns and 11 interceptions in his first three seasons. Now, that was all at the Jets, and the Jets had a very, very, very poor offensive line. We know that. Their offensive line was terrible, and they didn't protect him, and he was really good in college at USC, and he, he has potential just like all these other quarterbacks that we're talking about having potential, but potential ain't good enough. He comes over to Carolina for a cheap price because they needed a quarterback, and he was available, and nobody else was really asking much for him, and he throws nine touchdowns, and 13 interceptions. Now that is not very good. And he struggled last year. Now I will say the Panthers didn't really protect him that well either, just like the Jets didn't. But still, he wasn't very good. And he needs to improve a lot if he's going to be the starting quarterback ever for the Panthers or for any team if he wants to continue to be in the NFL. Now Baker Mayfield got drafted by the Cleveland Browns, played at Oklahoma in college, won the Heisman. He has the most name recognition on this list. And he's thrown in his four NFL seasons, 27 touchdowns and 14 interceptions, 22 touchdowns and 21 interceptions, 26 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. That was his best year, year three. 26 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. He played extremely well for the Browns. He was throwing strike after strike, and people were saying that Baker was one of the up-and-coming quarterbacks in the NFL and then last year he had injury issues at the Cleveland Browns he had 17 touchdowns and 13 interceptions he got hurt he was struggling you know struggling and he had a shoulder problem and he was playing through it he was doing everything he could to play through the pain and I, I respect and commend him a lot for it but that's why he's no longer with the Browns because the Browns want more and they felt that Baker wasn't giving it to him so they go out and get Deshaun Watson, which is a whole other situation, obviously. Uh, and you have you now have Baker at the Panthers, and the thing is, is that's fine because the Panthers needed a quarterback, and Baker is available. But who is going to be the starting quarterback, Baker or Darnold? I have to go with Baker because Baker has had better seasons consistently year in and year out, whereas Sam Darnold has never really had a great season. Granted, he's never been behind a good offensive line, but you watched last year, Joe Burrow for the Cincinnati Bengals was under pressure. He was getting sacked all the time. He was under pressure. He had guys going after him the whole entire time. And what what did he do? He fought through it. He played well. He got him all the way to the Super Bowl with a very, very not very good offensive line. And you got to give him complete respect for that because even though the offensive line matters and, and you need their protection to be good, if you're a good quarterback, you're still going to do a lot of good things even with a poor offensive line. And Sam Darnold has never had a great season. 
whereas Baker Mayfield has had several great seasons. He struggled last year, but if Baker Mayfield is healthy, he is the best option at quarterback for the Carolina Panthers this season. I hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe down below if you like this video, and I will see you next time.